Welcome back to the walkthrough, five more galaxies. Let's go. Clear, 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 clear. Open the sesame. And we've got another Redux galaxy. <laughs> Look, remember these blocks? Remember these from Super Mario Sunshine? Twisty Trials Galaxy. I think these are from the secret of Rico Tarber, but spinning and spinning and spinning! At least I think they are, because based on the, the block formations and stuff like that, it's... Yeah, it's these things. But you have your spin in place of Flood, which you wouldn't normally have here, so you've actually got more jump control than you would in the actual regular Sunshine game. <laughs> but the way that I like the transition between these two is that when they are pointed directly in the, like, the very edges of these, and they're pointed directly in the air at a 45 degree angle, it's safe to switch between two of them like that by jumping. Luigi is just slippery. It just... <laughs> It don't, don't be fooled, they're not actually slipping off. Luigi is just slippery. But yeah, you see if it's at that high of an angle, you start going into wall jump mode, I guess you could call it. Yeah, that's a, uh, that's a thing. So you, you don't want to jump when it's, yeah, any, any less steep than that, I guess you, I mean, I should say any more steep than that, I guess you could say. Yeah, I will get that. Normally they want to want you to wall kick across that, but, eh, poo on you. <laughs> Got some gears not attached to anything. Yeah, oh wait, that's not- oh! Like, didn't let me spin, really? <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. But yeah, it's it's Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> it's not, not really all that much different or anything like that. It's just, hey, yeah, we're in, we're in repeat zone again. <laughs> I guess... Like, I don't know, they decided, you know, let's just remix stuff after Throwback Galaxy, or you just kinda, kinda do a little, little extra, f because, just because, why not? I don't know. <laughs> just, what's old is new again. <laughs> Alright. So, there we go. Kinda wish that they did have more new stuff, though, per se, and especially in the post-game where, um, they typically have a lot crazier stuff in the special worlds, but I, 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 this feels normal. <laughs> like, at least, because, you know, I've, I've played it before in Sunshine, this was a pretty normal occurrence in said Sunshine. I did not jump across when it was at 45 degrees. I was not following my own advice. <laughs> we're okay, though. We're still okay. I'll just offset that a little bit there. Yeah, it's gonna be nice and flat when I come across here. I don't know how you could possibly miss this comet metal. <laughs> you can also, as you can see, get on the very edges of these, I don't know, like sticks attached to the longer sticks. And yeah, they're like building block type things and Lincoln log of sorts. But I, not even Lincoln logs. There's something. There's something. But well, we got the start. <laughs> not difficult or anything like that. Just, just a matter of. Minding your slippage as those blocks rotate around. You get used to that from failing at that in Sunshine a lot. <laughs> Especially since you don't have a spin in Sunshine. You've got to really get the hang of them in Sunshine. <laughs> Alrighty. Voila, and... Unlocked. And a comet to boot! Yeah, from here on out, I do believe it's gonna be regular level plus comet, just like stacked on top of each other right away. So, yeah, we're gonna just go back over there then and finish off the Twisty Trials Galaxy. I do believe that all of these galaxies have just two stars apiece, so yeah, that's just how things are gonna happen from here. Turning, turning, double time! Now, this is something I mentioned before, is that when stuff that you're walking on is, like, spinning faster, it almost seems to make it easier, because there's less of a... like, like a time when they, when they aren't gonna be grippy for your feet. So it's just like I go over here and I'm like I'm on top of it and I'm go over here. Look at that. It just it, it just goes so remarkably smoothly as a result of that. 
it, it, the, the double time, I think, makes things easier. So, <laughs> it's just a weird phenomenon in that, for once, extra speed does not make a platforming thing more difficult. <laughs> Just yeah, it just they're other. It's like they're already ready for us. And look, there's there's even a checkpoint for us here now. As if this level is somehow harder than the other one. No, no, it's not. <laughs> they gave us Yoshi too. What? What? I mean, I guess this might be a little bit trickier. Maybe, maybe. Eh, no. <laughs> just kind of go ahead and just jump right across there. I think I could even long jump across that with uh, Luigi too, but uh, eh, no need, no need. See, look at that. I, I was able to recover easier there uh, because it was just spinning faster. Otherwise, that the spinniness would have been going so slow that I might not have been able to recover that without ditching Yoshi. <laughs> See that? Yeah, it's just jump to recover, and that's that's all there is to it. <laughs> So, so much easier than the original. I don't really get the whole checkpoint thing. <laughs> Alright, final stretch. I, well, maybe these are spinning even faster, but will it matter? Probably not. Probably not. Just gotta jump across when this one's gonna come to the top, like so. There we go. Let's keep it nice and smooth. Look at that spinny spin. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh man! <laughs> I let it go too far. That's okay. <laughs> but yeah, it really shouldn't be as difficult as I'm making it. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll be allowed to get a few more star bits then, that's always a plus. <laughs> yeah, star bits! Alright, I'm just gonna do this jump as Yoshi like I did before, just keeps things nice and simple. And you know, flipping the camera around also helps here quite a bit, if you think about it, because of the whole... Um, so that you can tell exactly when it's gonna be at 45 degree angle, or if you just wanna jump across when it's flat. Your call uh, it doesn't really matter all that much, just as long as you're aiming for something that your feet will have grip on. And here we are, the final path for once again. <laughs> Alright, no dumb mistakes again here, PK Gam. This it, don't don't make a fool of yourself by calling this easy. It it really is easy. Just just don't make it seem like it's harder than it actually is, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this, well, maybe this last one is spinning pretty quick, and not quick enough though. <laughs> yeah, see, I just made a dumb mistake of just letting it, letting it go a little too far. All right, that's clear. <laughs> Delightful. And yeah, we are winding down our gold star collecting now for sure. Oh man. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I wonder, well, oh, I, I, there's still the boss galaxy coming up. I was going to say, maybe the next part will be the last part of our Gold Star quest, but nah, nah, let's, no. <laughs> it's probably not going to be, because I, I don't think it's going to go all that smoothly. Stone Cyclone Galaxy, these thwomps going crazy. So this is going to be yet another redux, Silver Stars on the Cyclone. Remember Beach Bowl Galaxy from this first, uh, yeah, the first Super Mario Galaxy? Well, it's basically the same thing, only everything is going faster, which may or may not be bad, depending on how things are, as I, as I explained before. Uh, there's star bits on the inside of, yeah, that sort of thing, if you want to touch them with your pointer, if you can, before you even go on ahead. There is a comet metal right over here at a rather precarious spot, but uh, it's right near the start, so, yeah, if you get sucked into the water, I mean, to go if you go in the water and get sucked into the black hole because of that, it's not really that big of a deal or anything like that. Um, there are switches, as you see, to slow down time, like near the beginning there, which may or may not be beneficial to you, depending on how you're feeling. Like, like I said, it all, it all depends how you decide to tackle things. Uh, tox boxes here, I believe this is the only point in the game that they actually appear in this particular Mario. Yeah, see, they, they squish you as they roam around there. There's a safe spot in their opening at the very bottom, though. 
So that is uh, something that you can look out for if you want to find the safe spot to uh, bypass their squishiness. I'm not really sure how threatening this is, though, because I'm just going to do that. I'm just... <laughs> or, uh, or I can just, like, long jump across there. But ultimately, as I said, you can slow down time. A la Buoy Base Galaxy Remix. Although Buoy Base was a changed a whole lot more than this place was. Is also, uh, yeah, you can get a one-up over there if you really want to. This box is indicating that this is a safe spot, basically, because you're not squishing the boxes. So, yeah. But basically, you want to pay attention as to what square they are flipping over when there is a hole underneath them, like, as you go ahead of time and whatnot. And I just realized I'm not really collecting the silver stars that I should be collecting along the way, am I? <laughs> well, maybe... Maybe it'll be fine. No, it won't be fine. Yeah, I did a, I did a boo boo there. <laughs> I kind of missed the other paths where the silver stars were. Uh, I'm kind of, kind of thinking of just going back and redoing it. Then at this point, I don't know. It's just, it's pretty easy to go back. <laughs> it's, it's not really a dangerous thing or anything like that. Although I'm gonna say that I'm probably gonna end up getting squished just because. But yeah, I forgot that I gotta. Be looking for silver stars around these parts, I guess, along my way, while I was doing explanations of things. Uh, well. Oh, well. Okay, so here's another one there. Uh, the other one, I think, is on one of these uh, sideways moving platforms here. And, and those, uh, those ones going vertical, actually going in the opposite direction of those, they, do, they definitely uh, kind of mess with you a little bit. Uh, yeah, where am I missing another... Hmm... <laughs> I don't know... Uh, oh, that that explains a lot. <laughs> uh, Luigi better move, otherwise he's gonna get squished in that, in that particular position. Alright, enough messing around on this level, it's time to go back. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? Um, did... He just kept moving, I wasn't touching anything. <laughs> Okay, that was... that was weird. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> I guess I gotta go back down that route anyway, so... Big whoop. <laughs> Alright, I just wanna go against the flow here. Whoops, sea doodle. Oh, well. <laughs> the first priority is, by far, that comet metal. Because of said black hole, but... Eh, well. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I wonder if slowing time would help me a little bit here, maybe it would, I don't know, I'm just used to getting that when I'm feeling impatient, like that, and that's why I'm just kind of going for it as is. <laughs> then you just gotta, gotta play with what you're, what you're used to, basically. And yeah, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with, go for it. Alright, no, 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 no. now what happened over there? It's like I got stuck on the platform. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna ride the, the platform around. And then go to that other star on the other side of that particular path, but no, no, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna do that to me. It's gonna be that sort of day. <laughs> you're, you're, gonna be, you're gonna be like that game? I guess you are. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. I, now I have no other choice but to try it again. Uh, wait, actually, this was a safe spot right here. I'll just... Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'll just wait until I have maximum amount of time here, rather than try and push, push the boundaries. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm gonna start my trek around here, and voila! There's number three, and the other two are on that final path. I gotta get onto something a little bit safer here. <laughs> that worked out though. We're okay. We are okay. <laughs> Alright, so safe, safety is over here, where the big red mouth is. And remember the last two were on whoop, on this final pathway here, so... Yeah, I'm gonna actually hit that this time. Because I wanna just kinda get on here. There we go, at the earliest possible opportunity. Black and white star bits, go! <laughs> Okie dokie. So there's that. I'm gonna go over here to make sure it's safe before I... Oh, the mouth goes down over there, okay. I didn't know if that was a safe spot or not, I just wanted to be sure. Always be safe and sorry, unless you're right next to the beginning of the level. And then you can you, you have room for opportunity to just kind of mess around. 
You know, I wonder if that time that I just kind of ran into the the abyss, maybe the control stick disconnected again or something like that. Because you know how when you're holding a direction and the analog stick disconnects, what it does, it, 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 it when it snaps back to center, it resets the center points before it goes back to center, and then it thinks you're moving to the left or to the right or whichever direction it was when you move, snap back to center. So maybe that's what happened there, but it didn't mention that there was any sort of disconnect there, so... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's complete, other than the Comet that I got for getting the Comet Medal. Oh yeah! So, I might as well go back over there. I don't know if it's gonna be... Oh, be any uh, that much different, though. Let's just see here. The place was rough, but you still pulled through like a champ. You know, blah, 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 blah. it's the same dialogue for when you fail a bunch of times. <laughs> I don't think there's any cosmic helpers if you should die too many times on uh, said galaxy on the special world. But there is on all the other ones, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Tox Box Speed Run! Yeah, that's where you hear the name of the Tox Boxes. Uh, I don't see any silver stars to collect this time, though, so it might just be a matter of long jumping your way through as much stuff as you can possibly do. Uh, like right over here, I just see there's a clock. I'll go for the clock right away. And I'm gonna go around here right away. And then I'm gonna go over here right away. <laughs> That's the power of the long jump. <laughs> Obviously, I'm missing a couple other clocks along the way, but you know, if you're saving more time than you're losing, you might as well. <laughs> what, what did I. How did I. What the. How did I manage to do that? Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, from the top. Yeah, oh shoot, that's uh that was not timed the way it was <laughs> the way it was the first time. Okay, so I guess I can't repeat just for the sake of repeating. Unless I go a little bit slower, maybe. Let's try that. You go low oh, no, that actually made it worse. <laughs> Alright, enough experimenting. I'll just look ahead a little bit better. There you go. Oh, I wish I could grab the star bits while flying into the galaxy like I was before. But alas, alas, it's not letting me do so. It's so sad. So sad. <laughs> I'm gonna go zip across here. Zip across here. Whoa! That was a weird momentum. <laughs> don't really care about that one up, obviously. Okay, so what did I even do there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was just. Another weird thing. And obviously there's no uh, sort of switches to slow down time or anything like that, so... The last one, I guess you could say if you chose to do it without the, uh, the clocks and whatnot. That's it's sort of like your tutorial on how to do it this way. <laughs> Man, there's so many things you can skip with a long jump in this one. Can I crack this in time? Yeah, I can crack this in time. Of course I can. There's a clock right before it. Oh, and the time even stops. I mean, the timer even stops after I crack that open. So you don't even have to fight the clock. It's just a matter of breaking it open, and that's it. Then you can just jump up for the star. Woo! Well, that was weird. I <laughs> It didn't take me that long to get both stars in that galaxy, but... I certainly lost a lot of lives in the most awkward of ways. <laughs> oh well. With that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Well, when I unlock the boss galaxy. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, Arceus, no!